Okay, I want to explain the construction of a parabola with the use of locus method. And the question I'm using is in uh, Engineering Drawing Book 1, uh, Pick Up and Packer. So those are the author. So the question here that I'm going to use is question 4. And the question says that construct a parabola using the locus method, which has its vertex 20 mm from the directories. Okay. Now, the construction goes like this, but after constructing the parabola with what we are given, I'm going to ask something that is very important to it, which may be required to do in YEC. Okay. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to draw uh, a vertical line. So draw a vertical line of any length. Draw a vertical line of any length. Okay. I'm going to draw a vertical line here. Is a vertical line, then you draw a horizontal line, just move probably in the middle of the line, draw a horizontal line like this. So, this vertical line, this vertical line is the directrix. So, I'll call it line AA. So, the vertical line is directrix. Why this horizontal line? Let me call it line OB. So, this line OB is the axis so in the question we are given that the directories or the directories and the vertex are 20 mm apart are 20 mm apart so the distance between the directories and the focus and sorry directories and the vertex is 20 mm so i will take 20 mm on my ruler with my compass i will put the pinpoint of the compass at o and make an arc on this line okay the next thing i want to do is that i want to locate my focus i want to locate the focus and the distance of the focus from v here this is point v which is the vertex so distance of the focus from point v is also 20 mm just put this 20 mm at v and make an arc on this line so this is point f this is point f now the next thing I'm going to do is that we are going to bisect the distance between V and F. So if V and F is 20, 20 by 2 will give me 10. So all I need to do is to take 10 mm on my ruler with my compass. Take 10 mm on my ruler with my compass. So I put at this point. So and make an arc on this line. So I'm going to write one here. So this is one. So next, I will, I'm going to make another uh, four arcs on this line. Four arcs on this line. So I put it at F. That same 10 mm. I put at F. Make an arc. This is one, two, three and four and four so i'm going to number this as two this is two this is three this is four and this is five okay so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to draw vertical lines vertical lines at each of these points vertical lines like this at each of these points Including the focus, including the focus. The last one is this. Okay. So that's it. So five is okay. So one, two, three, four, five. But you have to draw a vertical line on the vocal point two. So the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to put the compass at point O here. Put the compass at point O. Extend it to one. Extend it to one. 
extend it to one on the axis and put the compass remove it put the beam point of the compass at f make an arc draw an arc on line one up and down of line one draw an arc up and line of line one then take it back to o extend to f extend it to f here then you bring it to f and make mark a draw an arc up and down f up and down of point f then from o to two from o to two so put the compass at f ground arc up and down of line two ground arc up and down of line two then from o again to three o to three so take it back to f ground arc on line three up and down of line three up and down of line three so then next is from o to four from O to 4 from O to 4 so take it to F and draw an arc up and down on line 4 then from O to 5 from O to 5 take it to F so draw an arc up and down of line 5 okay so that's it all right so i'm going to join the point of intersection of the axe and the lines i'm going to join them together with the use of my french curve so this point there is a point there is a point there is another point of intersection of the lines the vertical line and the axe okay so we also have another point here we have another point here up another point here is another point is another point and this is another point so we are joining everything we, we converge at the vertex here so i'll take the french curve so set it like this and i should take this to first to join these together and then join these together then I'll turn it to this side So you have to be very careful with the use of the other side of the French curve. okay so this is the curve this is the curve this curve is known as parabola so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to construct i want to construct a tangent on a point on this curve i'm going to, i want to construct a tangent on a point on this curve and that point is that i'm going to use this point i want to use this point i want to use this point here this point so let me call it point p let me call it point P 
and I'm going to take the measurement of point P. So let me measure it because when you be if you are asked to construct a tangent to this point by Y, they will tell you the distance of the point from this axis. So they will tell you, so they may tell you that okay, construct a tangent to the on the parabola at a point 40 mm, 40 mm from the axis. So actually, this is 40 mm. This is 40 mm. So I'm using this point. So all you need to do is to measure 40. Just locate where you have 40 on this line. So the next thing that we are going to do is that draw a horizontal line from this point, which will be parallel to the axis. So let me call this line. Let me call this call it PQ. So this is PQ. All right, so this is PQ. So the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect this point with the focus. So if I'm connecting with the focus already, it's, it's going to give me a vertical line. So this is a vertical line. So it's a vertical line. Okay. So this is a vertical line. So and uh, so if it's not vertical line, so let's assume that you are using this point. So the line is going to bend like this. And because the this point and the focus they are long, they are they are in the same they are on the same line. So that's why we have it to be and this is the right angle. This is the right angle. So let me call this line, let me call it PR. So this is line PR. This is line PR. So PR and PQ. Now I'm going to bisect this angle, this angle, this angle, uh, QPR, angle QPR. I'm going to bisect it. I'm going to bisect it. So I'll just extend my compass to any convenient radius and draw an arc like this. Draw an arc like this. Okay. So let's call this arc. Let's call it arc X. Y. Okay, so I'll to bisect this arc. I'll put my compass at this point, extend to any convenient radius, extend to any convenient radius, draw an arc here, and draw an arc here. So with the same radius, I will take it to Y and draw an arc. Oh. So I'll take it to Y, draw an arc here. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw a line that will join the point of intersection of the arcs together, and that line will pass through this point P. So, this is it. Okay, so this line, so this line, this line is the tangent. So this line, so this is the tangent. Okay, so this is the tangent. So a line that is perpendicular to this line. A line that is perpendicular to this line. If I draw a line from here, the line goes like this. So this line is perpendicular to this line. So let me call this tangent. Let me call it uh, line uh, SG. So the tangent is SG. So let me call this one. Let me call it U. So this line. That is perpendicular to the tangent is known as normal. It's known as normal. So this is normal. So this is how you can construct a tangent and how you can draw uh, how you can draw a tangent to a given to a parabola. So it's as simple as explained. It. So just need to practice. Just need to practice. So to learn more. Uh, uh, visit the channel 
uh, like, share, and subscribe so that whenever I upload a video, you will get a notification. Thank you.